everybody it's sarah and we are going on a hike okay so um i got up pretty uh pretty late this morning i could not get out of bed so it's about 12 o'clock so i only have a couple of hours as i have to be back at home for five ish um so i figured i'd go somewhere local i am in oka park and to be honest i've never actually like I've been here before, but I've never actually like hiked the whole circuit. So I believe it's eight kilometers. Um, and the lady just told me to wear bug spray because it is ferocious with mosquitoes. I'm super um, down with that. Got my bug spray. So um, without any further ado, I guess we shall get started. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we are here. And we are gonna do the long way around. Or we're gonna try, because apparently it's not well marked here. Um, but I guess, uh, let's do it. Okay, so apparently, um, today there's a lot of mosquitoes and bugs and stuff, um, like swarms and swarms of them. Apparently this is what people have been telling the girl at their ticket office. So, as you've seen from my previous video, I almost care bug spray with me, so I put some on. And as I was putting it on, a couple came behind me and they were like, oh, you're so lucky to have thought about that. And I'm like, not lucky, just prepared. Um, and so I offered to you know, share with them. So they put some on and they were like, oh, thank you, you just saved us from like a really bad experience. And I was like, well, my motto in life has always been be prepared. So whether that means like carrying a lot of stuff um, unnecessarily or just shaving down for the bare minimum, but of things I know that I'm gonna use in instances like that, um, you know, help each other out. And uh, they said, you know, like, we'll catch up later and maybe we can share some snacks or something when we get to the top. And I was like, sweet. So. So apparently this trail is rated difficult. Um, I have an app called All Trails that I download onto my phone and um, I choose um, trails that are in my area or further out based on that app. And then people can write, um, you know, comments or questions or, or things about the trail and, and then you give a rating. So, you know, easy, moderate or difficult. So I was reading the comments um, uh, and people were saying like, yeah, it's really difficult, but it's like a gentle up climb. So I guess what I'll do is um, at the end of this video, like I'm going to give you guys my feedback on if I thought it was difficult or medium or whatever. And um, I usually also comment on the all trails after I've done the trail to give my own feedback and my own perception. So I am by no means a... Um, pro hiker. I am not really in shape. So for me, um, I consider myself like mediocre hiker. <laughs> um, but I enjoy it. So that's why I do it. And uh, hopefully I'll get better with time and, and that's it. So I'm gonna keep on going. Um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Uh, I'm out of breath because I've been climbing for 20 minutes. Um, but I guess it's important to know that every climb has a downhill and that's making me very excited right now so um the mosquitoes are real every time i stop to take a few pictures of flowers and whatever else um i just get totally swarmed so i actually put a bit more on um but regardless i've been bitten like at least 15 or 20 times oh well nice to go downhill a little bit. Whew. It's nice. Um, so the reason why I kind of gotten started into uh, I've always been an outdoorsy person. I've loved camping ever since I was a little girl. I can talk about that in other videos but the reason why I particularly 
um, got into hiking, I'm just gonna pass over here for a little bit, um, was because a few years ago I had a small accident. I fell, slipped on the ice, and I herniated my five lumbars, my, the discs between my, my last five vertebrae, um, and that was really painful. And um, I had a hard time walking for six, seven months. I had a cane for about that much time, and I've been in physio ever since. Um, and doing kind of like gym exercises or, you know, um, uh, what do they call them? Just, regular sports or um, uh, group sports as such. For me, it's really difficult. Um, I have a lot of hard time with my back. And I started hiking because it's kind of like low impact, low resistance. I still get a good cardio workout and I enjoy being outside and seeing this, which is really awesome. So for me, um, that's kind of like why I'm getting more and more into it. I did it, you know, a couple of times um, a couple of years ago and kind of like sparked inside of me and it was like I can do this I can totally do this I went from not being able to walk to hiking up and down hills now I don't know if I could climb Mount Everest or you know Mount Whitney or whatever but you know maybe one day um, it's really important to you know take it one step at a time and to take take it slowly and to give your body the chance to heal um, because you're not gonna get anywhere if you don't so yeah okay so remember I was saying that the trail is not marked at all um, so I can either go this way or I can go that way um, and seeing as there is um, a log there um, I'm gonna take that as don't go there, but it could be like a bike path. Um, I don't know. We'll just see. Okay, I see a sign. A sign. Vous êtes ici, which means you are here. We want to go that way. We did that in a long time because I've been filming quite a bit. <laughs> so, we can either go that way or that way. That way. Mosquito world is on point. <laughs> I mean, it is, I have, I must have at least a hundred or so mosquito bites by now, even with two layers of bug spray. <laughs> so I can only imagine the people who did not bring any, which again, totally your choice. Um, again, I think make your ride experience out here a little less enjoyable. So if you do plan on coming and you're okay with putting a bug spray on. Do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, so we are about to climb uphill again and we are, I believe, going up to the summit uh, of the trail, which is called the summit, <laughs> creatively of course. So, I mean, it goes from like super flat to like this. <laughs> you gain elevation pretty quickly. Now, I think when I say elevation, I'm saying like 600 to 800 meters. We're not talking like mountains here. Still. Okay, so fourth kilometer, second blaze. I mean, when they say that it wasn't really well marked, I didn't really mean, I didn't really know what they meant. Um, but now, I just 
just saw a third one. So, I don't know if it's because they fall off or I just haven't been paying attention to them. Usually I do, but... I mean, you could really miss it easily. <laughs> that being said, the trail is so obvious to follow. You just take the one that's more trodden. Okay, so I just came across this sign, which essentially says, um, path five, go that way. And then I look at the trail and I'm like, I don't think so. So I think I'm just going to keep going straight. <laughs> Okay, so we are now here. So we did the whole walk there. Now I can either go back home this way or I can keep going down. And I just met a really lovely couple who told me to go up this way <laughs> because there's a beautiful view. Um, when I got to the summit over here, there was absolutely nothing to show you guys. So I'm gonna keep trekking and hopefully uh, show you guys something really nice. Okay. As they say, upwards and onwards. Alright guys, I think we made it to the viewpoint near the end. Look at this. We made it! Ah, here we go. Sit back. Warning for poison ivy. Yeah. Leave them three. Leave them be. mosquito smoosh on my forehead. <laughs> Alright, so I want to stay longer at the top and have a bite to eat, but there's just too many mosquitoes, so um, plus it's raining, so I put my pack cover on. Um, I'm really hot, so I'm um, not going to put my jacket on. Uh, and anyways, we're almost at the car, so I think I have 0.8 kilometers to the car, or maybe it's about a, one kilometer. Um, and that's it. So I'll catch up with you guys in a, in a momento. <laughs> when I meant that there was a lot of mosquitoes today, especially seeing as it just rained. I mean... What you gonna do? Sometimes the mosquitoes win, sometimes you win. And today, I did not win. <laughs> Nothing to be done about it. Just gotta keep walking. Walking, walking, walking. Guys. Look how freaking cool this tree is. It like grew out totally, totally 
horizontal. <laughs> I mean, like, that's freaking cool. <sighs> I'm, like, so ready to be done right now. I'm starving. No time to stop. <laughs> I'm also keeping my hair down, for those of you who are wondering, so that the mosquitoes don't get to my neck because they're going to my neck and it's uncomfortable. <laughs> so. I just saw something so freaking weird. It was a gray squirrel with a light, light red tail. And if I see it again, I'm gonna show you. I tried to get my camera out, but I was too slow. That was so freaking weird. I've never seen that before. He went in here somewhere. So anyway. I was like, is that a chipmunk on a squirrel? Strange. I'm back at the parking lot. Exciting, I made it. You did it! Wow! <laughs> Exciting. We made it! <laughs> oh my gosh, the itch is real, but worth it. <laughs> um, so I had such a good time and I loved bringing you guys with me. Um, you know, hiking by yourself for four hours, I think it was about four hours, um, was, you know, it's nice uh, being by yourself, but it's also nice to be able to talk to someone when you want to talk to someone. Um, even though, you know, no one is listening to me in the moment, um, I still feel like I'm talking to something or someone. Um, so I really enjoyed having you guys with me. I hope you guys enjoy this video and, um, you know, I'm excited to do more, uh, vlogs like this, um, in the woods and whatever else. So I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna have a bite to eat and I'm gonna head on home and take a shower because I need it. So just to wrap up, we did, I think we did about 10K um, up and down. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you guys my feedback on the trail. So we did 10K about, you know, I did a couple of loops a few times because I got lost because the trails are really not well marked. So for the first, you know, 6K, it's actually pretty decent. You just keep going in a straight line. Um, and that, that's the Sommet du Santi. That's like the first, you know, first long bit that, I, we, that we went on together. And then the last bit, the Calvaire, um, you know, it's called Le Calvaire, I guess it's because it's like, Calvaire in French is like chaos in English. <laughs> so, or like Bordel or something like that. So, and I understand why there's so many trails that intersect and there's absolutely no maps or indicators. So I just kept walking in loops until I found signs that said home. <laughs> so I added, I added on a couple of kilometers there. But so yeah, we did about 10K, four hours up and down. And I stopped quite a bit to do, you know, shots of films and stuff. So I probably would have finished about an hour earlier. Is the trail rated difficult um, as it is on that app that I was talking about, All Trails? Um, to me, no, it wasn't difficult. It was, I would say, medium. There were a few hills that were tough. Um, and especially without trekking poles, you know, you could, it would be really difficult, especially for someone who's out of shape. Um, but you know, I got through it in decent amount of time compared to a trail that I went on a few weeks ago. This was not difficult. Um, the trail that I went on a couple of weeks ago, that was like, that was intense. So, um, no, I wouldn't rate this trail difficult. I'd say moderate, um, you know, 
uh, definitely okay for kids and pets and stuff like that, um, dogs, whatever else. Um, anyway, I'm gonna sign off and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! How freaking cute was that dog? <laughs> He's like, itty bitty. <laughs>